Okay, members, in this lesson we are going to see how to determine the equation of a circle when you are given a po an input point where the circle is passing and also when we are given a line where the center of that circle is lying. So it's the case we are going to consider here. We are given two points and the line where it's passing and the line that's passing through the center of that circle. So the question is there. Find the equation of a circle passing through the points, this and this with its center on a line this. Now, the idea is one. So you see now, if I bring A, let me call this my center. So if I bring A to the center, I will need hard memory as one. And if I join C to the, I mean B to the center C, I'll be having radius two. But you know that because it's the same circle, this R1 is equal to R2. Now, we are missing the coordinate of the center. Now, if I make x, this, you know this that here is easy to make x the something. So here my x is going to be 2y minus 2. Meaning, if I know the value of y, I can easily get the value of x. Now, I assume that let my y be a. What will my x be? x will be 2a minus 2. So if I put it here, I have 2a minus 2 comma, the y value is a. So from there, members, now, you see that now for me, my radius 1 is going to be equal to radius 2. Why? Because all of them are radii of the same sum. Now, my radius 1, you see that radius 1 is going to be the distance between the center and the point C and the point A. Then, R of 2 is going to be the distance between the center and a point B. You know how to get the distance between two points, you say? x1 minus y1 over 2. So now, and the square root. So square root of, now, I assume this is my point, x1, y1, this is x2, y2. So this is will be now, minus 2, then minus 0. Then the y, then minus, the square, equal to the square root of, now I consider this to be my x1, then minus 2, the whole, square root plus a, minus 0, the whole square. From there, we expand it, and we square both sides. So, if we square both sides, this one I'm going to be having, I'm going to be having this will be this 2, 2a. Two so, this is it, minus minus, which I'm going to be having 2a. Then plus a squared. From there, we expand. And expand this I have. For a squared minus 2, then 8. And then plus 4. Then plus here. Equal in 2. Let us expand the side. Minus. This is 8 by 2. 16. Okay? Then plus 16. Then plus a squared. I think this is this one disappearing, this A is also disappearing. So this side I have negative 4 A. Now when I bring this inside, it becomes 1 plus equal to 2. This side I have 16. When I bring now this is 4 plus, so this is 8, I take this side, it becomes a minus. So for me I have 4 A equal to 2. A and you start my A is a 2. And if you have our A, so in that you can easily get our center. Our center was 2A minus 2 comma A. Meaning my center is going to be A is 2. So I'll be having 2 times 2, which is 4 minus 2, which is 2, comma A is 2. So remember this is my center. I can easily get my radius, my radius from here. R2. Either I use this one or this one, but this one I think it's better. So my radius is going to be square root of now the center, the distance between the center and the point A, which is 0, 2. What I'm going to do is substitute, so this minus this, then plus 2 minus 2 square, so that my R will be Two units. Two units. Now from 
there, if I create my, if I put my equation of the circle x minus x squared, y minus b squared equal to r squared, x minus the coordinate of the center, which is 2 squared n plus, so in simple terms, this is my a, this is my b. y minus 2 squared equal to my squared is b getting a 4. So that's the first approach. The second approach, here you could see, the second approach is here. You can see that these are intersects. So if I were to put that one on a graph like this, so that this circle will be passing, like it will be going like this. The part touches there, then touches there, then it goes away. So this point here, where it touches, is a point A, 0, 2, so that the x is 0, then this one, the point B, 2, 0. So I don't understand that there is a line passing through the center. So this line is, so that this line is not passing through the x-axis, so, but it has a positive gradient, so it's going to be there like this. So this minor line, 2y, equal to x plus 2. So I don't know this center, but I know now, from here, I know that from here up to here, because this one is touching here, I know from here up to here is two units. So I mean that now, from here up to here, the center here is going to be also two units. Why? Because if it's touching there, then from here it's going to be two units. Now, from here I start, they have moved two units in the Y, and so that this is going to be like that. So, from here up to here are two units, and it's the center, which is also to there. And some members, you see that we have our center already, and you can easily get the radius using the same height. So here you could reach, you could do it in less than one minute. I wish you the best, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.